Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Art Hobbies. Today we are going to be painting an autumn scene in acrylics. Um, you can even call it a jungle or a forest, whatever you want. So these are the canvas sheet and the flat and round brush that I used for the painting. And now this is the colors used. First of all, I'm going to tell you the bottles, um, colors name of the bottles from left to right. So first is magenta, then orange, then leaf green, then crimson, then dark green, then lemon yellow, and then titanium white. Now let's go to the tubes. So first is uh, yellow ochre and burnt sienna, then leaf green, then lemon yellow, then mauve, and then the last one is cobalt blue. So f let's get to the painting. I am taking a flat brush and dipping it into the burnt sienna, and uh, I am going to be painting the barks in the front. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Make sure to keep your boards opaque. Apart from painting, I am going to be telling you guys to um, wash your hands and take precautions, don't go out much unless it's very necessary and don't um, touch your face or anything when you are out of your home. If you take these precautions, you can save your life. Plus, you can save someone's life too and you can stop um, the spreading of this new virus called coronavirus. Obviously, everybody knows about this virus. And yeah, stay at home and do painting, enjoy painting. Painting is really fun, okay? Let's get back to the painting. So I'm going to be telling you guys to not to uh, mess up with the edges of the bark. So first of all, you need to make it neat. Make the edges neat, but not straight. You know what I mean? Like, don't keep it really straight. Otherwise, your painting will look like a kid's child's painting. Um, and try to give it a natural effect. If you keep the bark's edges straight, your painting will obviously look like a kid's painting. And that's what I want to say. And the second thing I wanted to tell you is, if you are really new to painting and if you are a beginner, don't try to do this painting free-handedly because you will obviously mess up if you are doing this painting free-handedly. And I also made a sketch here um, with using Apsara pencils, Apsara pencil. You can easily erase any mistakes you have done with the pencil with the rubber on the sheet. So, yeah. And the next thing I wanted to tell you guys is... Uh, if you ran out of any art supplies, um, you can easily purchase it from Amazon. All the online shops, uh, online shoppings are open, so you can easily order them. Now, I finished painting my barks, and now I am making my barks more darker by adding a bit of black into my burnt sienna. I am making them dark because I want to make my flowers and the bushes look more brighter and you can see I've added some small and thin um, sticks behind the bars or you can say in between the barks uh, and also you can see in the bar the bark in the corner I left some patches there because I wanted I want I'm gonna be adding like um, bushes there green bushes. And I've used a um, small round brush to make the thin sticks behind the barks.
Now I am painting the background with some lemon yellow with a flat brush, with a small flat brush. Now you can see that I finished painting my background and um, you should be really patient when you are going around the stems um, which are in the background and now I am doing like I'm mixing my yellow ochre with a bit of lemon yellow and making some bushes in the background you can see with the flat bristly brush bristle brush you can say Um, now I am doing the trees which are in far background and um, with a bit of uh, yellow ochre and with a bit of burnt sienna and with a bit of lemon yellow with a small round brush. You can see that I made the trees which are in far background more thicker and darker, just a bit darker and um, I am making the yellow bushes more darker to give some depth uh, using, uh, you know, using uh, yellow upper. Now you can see I am painting that corner with a, a green with a flat brush. Now I am adding darker green bushes with my flat bristle brush. And now I am trying to blend the brush effect with the smooth paint, which is at the bottom. The acrylic paints dry really fast so you can see that bottle lurking around there yep I kept it there and uh, I kept it for use so the use is if you don't want your acrylic paint to dry you can spray them like if you squeeze out a lot of acrylic paint in the palette and you're working you're still working and if it dries um, if, you, if it dries, if it keep getting dries, you can keep spraying it onto that acrylic paint. So that's actually really useful. And uh, I totally forgot to tell you guys this. The bottle, the spray bottle is actually filled with water, not any kind of special liquid or something like that, so don't worry. You just have to keep your acrylic paints hydrated so that they run smooth on your surface, on your paper, or canvas sheet, whatever you are working on. Now I am doing the bushes on the bark and uh, um, now you understand why I left the patch. And I am using leaf green and make sure that leaf green is really opaque. And I'm uh, again using the flat brush, bristly brush. It's actually called bristle brush, but I like to call it 
bristly brush, so don't mind that. Hmm. I think you guys are forgetting something. Actually, you are forgetting something. Okay, I'll give you time to guess that thing. Okay, I will give you three seconds. So I'm counting now. One, two, and three. Yes, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. And also, the next thing you have to do is share this video with your friends. And the next thing is click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Have you done all the tasks I gave you? Have you? Have you? Thank you. Okay, so let's get back to the painting. I am still doing the bushes and you can see where I um, kept the bushes and make sure not to um, paint um, like a blob you should paint like a dabbing you should paint the bushes with like dabbing strokes and also keep in mind you should use a really bristly brush I mean bristle brush I know you're excited to know why I left this much of space below there Nope, they are not leopards or tigers lurking around there. If you want to know why I left the space, you should watch my video till the end. Okay, so now I've changed the ca uh, angle of my camera uh, to show what I am going to be doing at the below, at the bottom part. So I am doing the flowers. To see the complete, um, to see the complete scenery, you should obviously watch this video till the end. And I am doing the flowers. And now I took some orange and I loaded some orange in my brush, and I'm using still the flat brush and I am using the dapping strokes. Now I'm same, I'm taking some yellow to make the highlights. Um, if you want to play with your highlights and if you want to play with your depth, you can obviously do that with, um, with your paints and everything. It's up to you how you want to flower. And now I am using magenta. And you can see that I am blending my magenta with the orange. And I'm blending my orange with the dark orange, you can see. And I'm still using the flat brush. So, the next thing I'm going to tell you guys is this half of the painting is actually an abstract painting. So, don't worry about that. And I think this is time to tell you guys what I am doing here. So, I am doing a, you know, wildflower area here. There are flowers and uh, that's the easiest part of this painting. So, don't worry Now I am adding crimson and I am going to be blending it with magenta and make sure that you are blending all the colors together. Like first I did this orange, first I'm doing like orange and then I'm going to magenta but blending it and then I went to crimson and uh, try to blend all the colors so that it looks, um, you know, perfect and beautiful. The thing that got me into this painting was obviously the concept of colors and concept of flowers. It seems like flowers, uh, uh, this it seems like nature is trying to tell something 
Um, it's really beautiful. The painting is really beautiful. If you want to know the final result of this painting, watch my video till the end. And apart from painting, I am gonna tell you guys that 2020 was hard for mankind, but very kind to Mother Nature. As factories are closed down and smoke disappeared from the air, birds sang happily, the air freshened up, our ozone layer got um, cleaner, and flowers bloomed more brightly. The lockdown was a blessing for nature. We must remember that humans and nature go exist and we must respect the laws of nature after things get back to normal. Um, after this lockdown, I hope people will think twice before they start polluting Mother Nature again. And I'm really sorry for the long lecture, but all artists are natural lovers. That's why they paint nature quite often. If you're getting confused about the colors of the flowers, I'm gonna repeat the names of the colors um, that I use for painting the flowers. So first is orange, then yellow, then dark orange, then magenta, then crimson, then mauve and cobalt blue and some leaf green or you can say light green. I've also used a bit of dark green too for depths and uh, light green for highlights and everything and you can use a bit of white to give highlights to your flowers and i'm repeating this again don't worry about the about this part about the flowers uh, um i told you as i told you before this half part is actually uh, like an abstract painting so don't worry you can add the flowers wherever you want and you can add the leaves wherever you want and you can keep the colors of your choice. I know things are getting hard for all of us, but try to do something good. Try to feed a poor people. Try to help a friend. Uh, do prayers. We all need blessings from God um, to um, fight this virus. And I really hope that this virus um, gets destroyed very soon. And uh, um, you can. Uh, pray and you can feed a poor you can try to feed animals animals stray animals like dogs and cats stray cats and, and dogs they are all hungry because there are no uh, no one to feed them and uh, try to feed them like when you're going out for uh, really necessary things try to you know give them something new to acrylics I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks so that you become an expert in acrylics so the first tip is uh, take a spray bottle and clean it thoroughly and fill it up with a clean with clean water and once you load your palette with your acrylic paints um, spray the water on your acrylic paint so that it doesn't dry up quickly and gives you more time to paint with them with it and uh, the next tip is um, keep your um, brushes always dipped in the water so that the paint doesn't dry on the brushes and ruin them that's it that's the rules that you, that you have to follow with acrylics acrylics are really easy especially when you are a beginner and, and in my channel, I'll be showing you some tips and tricks and watercolors too. And I'll be doing a watercolor painting too. And if you want to see a watercolor painting, comment down below. Let me know if you want to see a watercolor painting. And the next thing I wanted to tell you guys is... Uh, um, I did this painting mostly using the flat brush because in this painting there are like a lot of dabbing strokes and uh, the flat brush helped me a lot for creating this 
result and I really like that and a flat brush is really necessary for this painting any size uh, size doesn't matter but it make sure that it is flat that make sure your brush is flat Okay, let's go on tip number three. It's so beautiful to see a clean palette, so clean to eyes, to your eyes. And the tip number three is about cleaning your palette. It's not a big deal. It's not a big of a deal for cleaning your uh, clean your palette. Um, first of all, you should just rinse it off. Then you should scrape off the acrylic uh, acrylic paint. And acrylic paints peel off really easily after they die dry up. So don't worry about that. And uh, yeah, that's all. painting was finished um, I felt that something is missing so I grabbed my brushes again and added some changes I added more purple flowers and some more highlights for the blue I added more blue flowers so yeah now my painting is completely ready enjoy 
and uh, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I'm, I'm so happy that I have I've reached 30 subscribers. But I know you'll that make that happen. You'll make my channel have more likes and views and more uh, subscribers. So. I hope everybody are safe and sound at their homes and uh, yeah, stay tuned for more videos. Bye everyone!